we joined via Zoom by Ovigwe Egwegu, Policy Analyst at Development Remargent, which is based in Abuja, Nigeria. Thank you very much, Ovigwe, for joining us. What is your take on Russia's Foreign Minister's Tour of Africa? Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, he, this trip is happening at a very crucial moment, of course, because we have the in, in Ukraine war at the background, and also as a very a pivotal moment in the sense that we're supposed to have you know, a Russia-Africa summit later in this, later this year that has been postponed, but that doesn't mean that there, there, there aren't issues for Russia-Africa to discuss. And because of the, you know, the fact that the, that summit will be taking place, it's very important from my perspective that uh, looking at the situation that Russia is trying to actually ensure that certain key uh, partners and you know, uh, governments on the on the continent it maintains that close relationship, particularly because of you know lots of rhetoric and you know uh, coming from Western countries and efforts to you know to isolate Russia and the international scene. How significant is his visit now, especially after Russia was blamed for the current food crisis on the continent due to the blockade of Ukraine's ports? Yeah, I think since since we've seen. Uh, you know that UN broker deal being signed by Ukraine, Russia, you know, uh, T Turkey, you know, and the, and the UN. Uh, in in the sense, they were, were moving towards a solution to to you know easing fears around food security. So with with uh, the Black Sea ports not you know not being open or able to export grains through that corridor, many African countries, particularly Egypt, that uh, receives about eighty percent of its you know, wheat from Russia and Ukraine, will be looking very, uh, very much to actually clear backlog that they already had, you know, placed because, before, for several months due to, you know, the blockade that has not been able to get access to wheat uh, that they have placed others for. So I think it's very crucial that, uh, you know, Mr. Lavrov is meeting uh, with the Egyptian government and other governments on the continent to ensure that these, you know, pressing issues of food security, you know, energy, you know, have, have been addressed. And uh, for Countries, particularly like Egypt, it really covers both the energy you know, issue and you know, uh, the food security issue. Just about a week ago, uh, uh, Egypt and Rosatom, that's the Russia uh, nuclear uh, agency, actually announced the commencement of the building of uh, an Egypt's first nuclear power plant in uh, Al Dabai. So that, that also shows a lot of, a lot of cooperation in you know, technical areas and, and, and energy as well. So I think it's a full visit that uh, meant to promote Russia's you know, uh, engagement with the continent, his interest, and also reaffirm its friendship with his African partners. How has Russia's relation with Africa been compared to other Western powers? I think one of the very crucial difference is the fact that uh, Russia tends to follow the the, the, the principles, you know, of of. Uh, you know, not not really interfering in in, in the issues of African countries, and also uh, steers away from harshly criticizing Af African countries. If we look at Ethiopia as, as a good example, when the war broke out in the, in the northern uh, region of, of Tigray, we saw so much you know uh, pressure from Western countries, sanctions on, on Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopia, and you know certain members you know, of of the government. And that created a lot of you know, friction between Ethiopia, you know, and the European Union and the United States of, of America. Meanwhile, you know, uh, they, they, we, we saw so, we, you know, support for internal stability coming from, from Russia. I can remember very, you know, uh, very clearly when uh, the spokesperson for the Russian Foreign Ministry, uh, Maria Zakharova, actually went on to say that Russia supports Ethiopia's, you know, uh, in, in, you know peace and stability and its sovereignty. That message has been also reiterated. Uh, you know, and reinforced by the visit to Addis Ababa and also in the speech of uh, uh, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. So I think that difference is very clear, but, but also in, 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 other, in very practical terms as well, you know, Russia tries to, you know, you know, follow a form of engagement whereby states are respected and also given, you know, a, a level playing field in, in, in their bilateral relations. So that's very, very different from the very hegemonic and uh, you know, uh, colonial mindset we see from several states in their engagement with, with African countries. 